Osama Nazal, the Palestinian affairs analyst. Osama, it's good to have you uh, back on the program. It's been a while since we spoke when the fighting resumed once again. We've now got at least 30 people dead. Uh, your thoughts on what's happened over the last few hours? Yeah, it is clear that Israel has taken the decision to resume its war on Gaza. And of course, it's not going to heed what it promised the American Secretary of State that it's going to be like surgical operation according to their own terms as it started bombing civilians' houses in all of the Gaza Strip, whether in the north, in the middle, or the south, as they are heavily bombarding now the city of Khan Yunis. And the last support was 32 Palestinians were killed, including children. And just about five minutes ago, the uh, defense uh, crew in Gaza uh, pulled out a Palestinian child, a Palestinian girl without head. So Israel returned to beheading the Palestinian children, destroying the Palestinian houses, killing the Palestinian women, killing the civilians on the claim that they are targeting the Palestinian fighters in Gaza. So it is a war against all the Palestinians and against everything Palestinian, whether in the Gaza Strip in Jerusalem or in the West Bank. And Israel lost its humanity values and it does not heed any of the international conventions and the international laws, including the international humanitarian law or the international human rights law, as its mission is only killing and killing mm -hmm. and killing. Osama, do Palestinians feel abandoned by the West and in particular by other countries in the region and the Arab world, because we have seen massive support for the Palestinian cause in ongoing rallies all over the world. However, that support doesn't seem to have translated to political will to actually do something. There's a lot of talk. There's very little action right now, it seems, to help Palestinians. Uh, really, the Palestinians feel not only abandoned by the Western government, and let's make a difference between the public opinion and the people who demonstrate in the streets every day in hundreds of thousands calling for justice for Palestine and for stopping the war on Gaza, and the government's positions. The governments did not abandon the Palestinians only, but they abet and they encourage Israel to commit more crimes against the Palestinian people. And we saw yesterday the Secretary of State of the American administration in the region, and he attended the Israeli war government session. And we saw how he was explaining to the Israeli prime minister and to the Israeli president how the next step by Israel should be, saying that the United States prefers not to see more civilians killed so you can go another way without taking into account that Israel shoots and bombs indiscriminately without making any difference between a fighter and a civilian. And once again, I uh, mentioned the example I mentioned uh, hours ago, killing eight-year-old child in Jenin City two days ago. Now the victims in Gaza are all civilians and most of them are uh, children. And we know that the humanitarian aid did not enter into the northern part of Gaza as it was uh, required. And so we are talking about exacerbated humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The Western governments, mainly the British government and the United States government, are a hundred percent aware of the humanitarian disaster that Gaza is going through. But until now, they tell Israel that it has the right to self-defense. And I don't know what they mean by self-defense if killing children and women is really the, uh, this, what they mean by uh, self-defense. Mm -hmm. So they are uh, encouraging and they are complicit really in this genocidal campaign by Israel against the Palestinians. Concerning the uh, Arab and Muslim countries, of course, we see a lip service to the Palestinians. 
uh, meetings, uh, political attempts, but this is not enough really because Israel does not understand but the language of power. Mm -hmm. I think that the Arab and Muslim leaders must take a serious position now and tell Israel that it is time to stop your war on Gaza and look for a political and peaceful solution. Otherwise, the Arab and Muslim countries will take a clear position against the Israeli occupation government. Without that, mm -hmm. I think that the Palestinians will continue to get bombarded by Israel. Osama Nizal, appreciate you speaking to us live there from Janine.